every night before I have a two camera shoot, I really want to go through and prep and make sure everything is okay. So this is my C70. I took the menu system, put it on an SD card, saved it, put it onto the rental. And that way all of my custom buttons are now the same. The, the menu favorites are the same and it'll be simple operation. So I will have an assistant with me and they don't know the hot buttons, but I do. So we're gonna be running a monitor on here and we're gonna do that purposely so I can see the screen. Not really for the, the assistant who will be operating. It's just for me to check reference. And then for my C70, we are taking the screen off. So no small HD 502 bright this time. I love that monitor, but for this type of situation, I don't wanna have to monitor the uh, all the LP E6 batteries that are inside of here. Uh, the interview window is three hours, so when it's when it's like that, I don't mind just using the built-in LCD screen. Taking the cart out on its maiden voyage. Uh, I live on the sixth floor, but I park on the seventh. So instead of bringing all that stuff up the stairs, uh, I bring the cart down and load everything in that way, which makes it a little bit easier and saves my back, which. I don't have any back problems. I'm young, but this is an attempt with the cart, with all of this to allow me to keep doing this for a long time. We got a little bit of puzzle piecing here, but it all fits. Move this over here. This over here. Skateboard. Over there. Hat. Sun visor. So I'm supposed to be in the hotel room, which is where we're conducting the interview at 11. So I gave myself the arrival time of 1045 and I got here a couple minutes early. So it's gonna help me just to pack all this stuff into the cart, make my way to the ladder. And then my assistant is showing up shortly. I told them 1045 as well. So it just feels amazing when you're early. It was, it's not hard, but it makes your life horrific when, you, uh, when you're not early. Made the mistake too many times, so good start to the day. So this is the typical two camera setup that I am really trying to market myself towards. I want to be known as the person who does these. And the camera got out of focus, but the person who does these and is, can, can do it fast, efficient, and is a breeze to work with. So first we're setting up with the key lights, and I will also put the boom, uh, microphone boom stand in the general area because it is so large, and I don't want to fully extend it and open it and then trying to wiggle its way in. So lighting first um, but I'll keep the boom stand roughly where it needs to be and then we just experiment with getting the lighting right and audio. Colorado Rapids in Major League Soccer. I've been in Major Leagues or I was in and out of Major League Soccer for since its beginning in 96. I started in DC um, where we won three out of the first four were four MLS Cups. Um, then I left and was spending time with the men's national team any good stories of using our technology uh, I think, on your athletes? You know, I was, I was first exposed to... So we got everything set up in about 40 minutes, which is pretty fast. Um, it's very nice to have an assistant. And here is our A-cam, uh, looking good. We had an ugly roof to the left, so we used that as the background. And then our B cam is just a tight on my friend's 70 to 200. And I really believe that the 24 to 70 and 7200 is just the best 
interview setup. Uh, you can zoom in, zoom out. You don't have to move the tripod. I forgot my counterweights in my trunk. So on the other end of that boom stand is two of our light cases that is counterbalancing it. So if I had a little bit more time, I would have gone down, but uh, it wasn't it doesn't look professional, but it wasn't the biggest deal, and we needed to get going soon. So um, the entire interview was, you know, maybe 35 minutes. And so having my assistant, Ruth, here, who just stepped in for the day, she asked to be a part of a, any future productions a few months ago, and this one popped up. So she was a huge, huge help, and um, she has her own uh, freelancing opportunities that she's getting herself into so very cool to see what she's doing and what we'll do next but this little sunlight line was annoying it was creeping in and i saw that before the interview happened so i lowered the shade a little bit and pushed the couch away from uh, the wall and i i knew that line was going to keep getting closer and closer and i was just hoping it wouldn't hit his shoulder Luckily, it didn't, and I think it's because of those two preemptive measures, but I was definitely keeping a close eye on it. And uh, other than that, the glory of interview setups is you set it, and then you just monitor. You just you know make sure there's no clipping in the audio, there's no drastic light changes, and that's usually it. And these. So this is, I forgot the, the company, maybe Bubble Bee or something, they uh, have this nice lavalier holder with stickies that you can put right on uh, your skin or under a shirt. And just like that, I think the entire interview lasted an hour, maybe. Um, camera's moving, but uh, extremely, extremely fast. The interviewer was very good at asking questions, and we broke down just as fast as we set up, if not faster. But we were able to have a really, really nice conversation with the people who hired me. And we didn't get that much of a conversation before the shoot began. So I always want to emphasize the importance of having that conversation afterwards. We found out that the client and I knew a lot of uh, mutual contacts. And that just strengthens, strengthens the bond and increases your chances of getting hired for the next one, which if they're all like this, I mean, they paid for a 10 hour day. I will do this all the time. So this worked really well. You agree? I agree. That was a hundred percent. Yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's got a bunch of stuff on it. The wheels are tiny. I think I do need to upgrade them. Um, but we were gonna transfer footage here, but we need to get a different laptop at home. But this would have worked perfect as a workstation. And I just don't wanna overload the top for the 50 pound limit. So we'll roll that behind. But otherwise, this thing is a good deal. Get it right now. So since Ruth donated her time, I was more than happy to grab some Chick-fil-A and talk a little bit afterwards about what her goals are, what she's trying to move into. And she just wanted to have a view of what these corporate interviews look like. She has a lot of experience growing um, successful YouTube channels and shooting for them, editing for them, uh, for very successful exercise companies. And it's always nice to share ideas with another filmmaker and hear what they're doing, what you're doing, and you know where your paths overlap and how you can help each other out. So, um, very short day as far as work goes. And we're back transferring footage to the client supplied hard drive, a simple 500 gigabyte uh, solid state drive. These are the cards we shot on, Angelbird V90s. I highly recommend them if you're on C70s. They handle 4K, uh, 24, 30, 60, 120, everything. Extremely good. And um, we have everything tra transferred over. This is our wide shot. You can tell that it's already colored. They requested 4K, 30 frames per second, 8-bit Rec. 709. So they want it already colored and ready to get chopped up to put out on social media. So if that's what they want, that's what they get. Here's our tight. You can see the color is matching extremely close. Maybe it's a, a tad bit darker here. Um, there was a couple of clouds rolling in too, which might account for 
some exposure differences. But overall, um, very happy with how this uh, worked out. He was a very static interviewee, meaning he did not keep moving left and right, which can get very annoying if you're panning with the tripod. For the most part, he stayed exactly right on his third. And that is an easy corporate interview job. Very happy about that. And um, in two days, I have a two-day conference. So that's going to be a fun one. Um, full day rates again. Two cameras, one on stage, one on gimbal. I'll be able to show all of you guys how it goes. See you in the next one.